he was gonna get his pay he was gonna get his credit for it but now i guess um pedro is pretty much just using the same tones the same tonadas the same um how do you say the same melodia so he pretty much just stole his ideas like he said and just ran with it Good, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Ayo. But y'all already knew that. And if you didn't, make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Cool. Once again, it's been a minute since I said that. It's been about a month since I uploaded a video. I'm sorry. I was busy. Um, obviously, if you guys saw my community post, I posted the album that I'm gonna be dropping. It's like a promotional album, you know. Obviously, it's like a promotion. But in the album, I picked out some artists, you know, from my DMs that were sending me music, this and that. I picked them out, you know, obviously I picked out the best ones, the ones that I thought were fire, that they deserved to be on the album. Um, and I just decided to throw them on there. But before I get carried away talking all about that, um, I'll keep you guys updated at the end of the video. Obviously, I'm going to talk about all that, why I've been inactive and whatnot. So yeah, for those that are interested in that, you know, interested in knowing why I've been inactive, the ones that are trying to keep in touch with me, stay tuned towards the end of the video and then I'll explain. But for today's video... Finally, a new video for today's video. Uh, this is a little incident that happened maybe about a week or so. And I didn't really post it. So, obviously, some of you guys are not going to be familiar with this. Um, but as you saw in the title, or as you read in the title, saw a thumbnail. Um, hopefully, this is pretty good clickbait. So, obviously, there's an artist calling out Pedro from his Laona Armado. Um, accusing him of stealing his songs. Or not necessarily stealing, but I guess getting inspiration from him. But yeah, let's just jump straight into it so I can explain it better. Um, so basically, 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 the artist, um, because in the thumbnail, let's see, what am I going to do in the thumbnail? I think I'm going to black out the artist, um, just to make it more, you know, um, clickbait, I guess. So the artist that is actually calling out Pedro from Islaon Armado is, in fact, Haciel. And nope, it's not Haciel Ayon. Um, it's Haciel from La Empresa Music. And a lot of people uh, might not know him. He has a decent following, but, of course, a lot of people might not know him. But he is actually the writer of this song right here. Ay, mira que estás. So as y'all can see, he wrote that song and he lended it over to David Santos, which became a hit. Um, but Haciel by himself, he does have a couple songs, which you can go check out um, on all platforms. But basically, he was posting a couple things. Um, I'm trying to go through my screenshots right here. Uh, let's see. So he basically started off by posting... I think it was, um, he started off by posting a clip of Pedro on TikTok, um, but it says that it was Haciel's TikTok, so I guess he reposted it on his TikTok. But it was a video of Pedro pretty much singing a song, I guess an unreleased song. I'm not really too caught up with it's La Buena Armado, so I don't know, but I think it is unreleased. And uh, basically after that, Haciel said, Que no se les haga raro ver una canción parecida a No Voy a Odiarte. Um, pero ya saben quien es el bueno. So basically he's saying, I guess, don't be surprised. If there's another song similar to my song, I guess he's saying, um, No Way Out of the Arte, which is Haciel's song. And then he also posted a, a clip of the song, of him singing the song, which I'm going to throw it in here. It's about a minute, 30 seconds. I might cut it down short. But that's basically his song, and then he also posted, um, Se puede copiar el estilo, mas no la esencia. Ya lo saben, no? And I guess it's, um, I guess it's the, I guess a little voice memo from his phone, and it says the date and whatnot. 
Um, so you're probably wondering, well, how did he, how did Pedro, I guess, copy this or how did he know? Pedro hit him up. Uh, let's see, let's see. Here are the Instagram messages. I'm going to throw it up here. So Pedro hit him up. I, I guess he reposted. I guess he sent Haciel a, a post that he posted. And he just said, fuck, you know, with the little crying emoji. And then Haciel responded, que onda bro, que tal la rolita? La escribí con el alma. And pretty much this was a way for Pedro to, you know, slide in the DMs. Um, and then that's when he just decided to say, you know, it's a fire ass song. And he told him, I need new songs, bro. And then I guess they exchanged info and they started talking on WhatsApp. And as y'all can see right here, Haciel actually sent him a couple songs or a decent amount of songs on WhatsApp. And um, you can see Pedro's reaction right here. I'm going to just throw it in here. He was pretty excited. A la puta verga, wey. No mames. No mames, wey. La tercera puta. Tu rola, a la verga, wey, no sé qué decir, wey, la neta no sé qué decir, a la verga, todas están perras, wey. A mastermind, you know, with this plan of him stealing songs, I guess you could say. No disrespect to Pedro or nothing like that, um, but I guess, you know, it's, in my mind, it's pretty fucked up that, that this had to happen. So basically, that was it, and then, uh, Haciel, he gave me a little bit more info as to what happened, so this is what he had to say. Lo que pasa es que... Me habló hace tiempo porque quería que le pasara ahí unas canciones y me empezó a seguir y se hizo mi amigo y, y ya después que le enseñé mis canciones, él me dejó de seguir y me dejó de hablar, güey. Como que nomás se tumbó mis ideas. Y yo tengo ahí mensajes y todo, pues, que comprueban que ese güey nomás quiso tumbarme mis ideas. There you have it right there. And he sent me better screenshots of the messages. So basically, Pedro was asking for songs for his album Tu Veneno Mortal Volumen 2. Pues ahí está la prueba, bro, de que yo, yo le iba a pasar canciones. Ese era el trato, yo le iba a pasar canciones para su disco, el de Tu Veneno Mortal Volumen 2. Él crea como cinco canciones de amor, sin contar las otras, pues, la, las otras que ahí se ve que me pide. And there you go, that's some more confirmation that he did in fact hit him up four songs for his album to Neno Mortal Volumen 2, which I don't think, I think I've heard actually the whole album, but I don't think any of these songs are, at least I hope, I don't think so. Um, I don't think any of these songs were on his album, but the way I see it, and I'm not too sure because I didn't really get clarification, the way I see it is he tried to use those songs on his album, it didn't happen, and now he's trying to use them after the fact, you know, after the fact that his album is done, he needs more songs to release and now he's trying to use Haciel songs um, on the low I guess you could say because as Haciel said he stopped following him he stopped messaging him um, so now he's trying to use those songs after and obviously Haciel was gonna lend them the songs for the album he was gonna get his pay he was gonna get his credit for it but now I guess um, Pedro is pretty much just using the same tones the same tonadas the same um, how do you say the same melodía as Haciel songs um, so he pretty much just stole his ideas like he said and just ran with it And it's honestly pretty fucked up because obviously Haciel seems like a cool ass dude He's obviously young. He's not too known in the industry yet And a lot of people were also talking about David Santos that how he stole his song Haciel's song But none of that actually happened like that Obviously Haciel just lended him the song and it did good That's just the way life works And that's essentially what would have happened with um, Es La Un Armado with Pedro had Pedro, you know, just taking the song and giving Haciel his cut. But I guess it didn't work that way. Now he's just taking his ideas. Um, because clearly, like he said, he unfollowed him. And let me just let me just double check that really quick. He was right. He's not following him. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. That's pretty much what happened. Um, es la un armado, Pedro. He hit up this dude for songs. Um, he was going to obviously throw him on Tu Veneno Mortal Volumen 2. He wanted five songs. He didn't use none. At least I don't think so. He didn't use none. And now that the album's done, now it's out, Pedro obviously he needs to keep releasing music. And now he's, uh, I guess, relying on the ideas that Haciel gave him. And he's pretty much just going to run away with the ideas and he's not going to give credit to Haciel. Um, which is pretty fucked up. But once again, that's just the way life works. Didn't really expect that from him. But fuck it, what can we do about it? But that was it for this video. And like I said, I was going to update you guys on what I've been doing with my life and shit. So here you go. So basically the reason why I've been inactive is obviously we're trying to get the interviews out with Richie, La Platica, Con Richie, and Yayo. Um, so y'all make sure to go check that out. Obviously the TikTok is the Instagram. Um, TikTok and Instagram. Um, TikTok is actually La Platica, that's it. Um, and then Instagram is pretty much the same thing, but two H's in the end. 
Um, and then make sure to go check out the interviews on Richie's channel, Richie M, Richie with two Y's. So we've been really trying to get that rolling and I am the one editing those videos. So obviously it's time consuming. Um, but it's slowly starting to become easier and easier. So obviously that's good. And also the other reason why I've been inactive, like I said, um, I had a community post on my album and also on my Instagram, Yael TV, underscore Yael TV. Make sure to go follow that. I am going to be dropping the album, which I'm not, actually, as a matter of fact, I'm put a little clip right here. Laborando, sigo cosechando, sembrando todas las plantitas, cumpliendo los encargos. Hablan en las redes, pero en persona los callo. Sigo lo que ando, no estamos aquí. So as y'all can see, that shit is gonna be fire as fuck, to be honest. I'm not really one to hype myself up, but that shit's gonna be fire as fuck. I feel like I did a good job picking out some good-ass songs um, out of, like, a shit ton that people were sending me, but, you know, it was really tough. Don't worry, though. If you send me your song and I didn't choose you, there is gonna be a volume two sometime in the future. So y'all just make sure to keep grinding and shit, you know, keep bettering yourselves, and then send me your music once it's time to submit music for that album. But, yeah, like I said, that album was time-consuming for me. That's why I've been inactive. But it's pretty much done. It's going to be dropping on my birthday, September 10. And two Fridays from now. Not this Friday, but next Friday. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So obviously, uh, we've been doing some interviews. And of course, my album is going to be dropping nine songs. Um, five corridos, four románticas. And they're honestly just straight fire, bro. I'm, I'm hyped as fuck for that, no cap. So y'all make sure to stay on the lookout for that. But that was it for this video. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more banger videos. Because I'm Yayo. And this is Yayo TV. Siempre cargo en el carro con mi compacto